I'm at the doctor getting a heart checkup. So I figured I'd talk to you guys while I'm waiting so I don't get nervous. But if the doctor comes in, I have to turn you guys off. Anyway, I have to get an EKG and I weighed. I'm okay. I'm, I'm not going to tell you what I weigh, but I will tell you guys on Sunday when I do my weigh-in, just say I'm, I'm happy with it. Um, anyway, so I have to get this EKG done because when my heart rate gets above 120 when I'm exercising at the gym, it's going irregular and throwing all kinds of crazy beats. And some of you guys know I have a heart rhythm problem, so I try to be ahead of the curve and just be like really diligent about it and make sure everything's okay so that, you know, don't have any problems. So this is the first time that I've been to this location and I walk up and I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. Right across the hallway from where this doctor's office is, is a pediatric office and sick kids and I can hear the coffin and the, so thankfully I had Kleenex and I got that and basically made, <laughs> people probably thought this gal's crazy. I wrapped my hands up in Kleenex like gloves because I was not touching that door. Now I'm working on egg salad. So what I have in the bowl here is six hard boiled eggs. Then I have four chopped up kosher baby dills. I count those as zero because there's no sugar in them. Some salt and pepper. And then I have two tablespoons each of gray poupon for zero, spicy brown mustard for zero, and two tablespoons of low fat mayo for three. So I'm gonna get that all mixed up and we'll see where we're at. That tastes delicious. I don't need to make any adjustments at all on that. That was perfect. So I like to eat this by itself or sometimes I even like it to stuff a celery stalk. That's pretty good too. And of course you could eat it with bread, kind of just depending what you're wanting to do with it. So I'm gonna get a lid on that and get it in the fridge. Now here are some of the vegetables that I prep and also the cheese that I grate. So one thing that I've really learned along my last two plus years on WW is, you know, the tendency to grab the easy food, to walk by the pantry and grab something that's really easy, you know, a handful of chips or a high point protein bar, which I will do sometimes if I'm flying out the door. But sometimes I'm just at home, I'm bored, and I know that I can grab a handful of this or that, and it's easy. So one thing I've really gotten the habit of, and I think it's really played a part in my success, is to make sure that I have fruits and vegetables prepped. So I have my cucumbers here, peeled and cut. I have some iceberg lettuce, chopped up along with some cherry tomatoes. I always, always, always grate cheese, and it looks like I'm low right now, but that is 50% reduced fat cheddar and also 75% reduced fat sharp cheddar. And then we also have some peppers in here. So I feel like this becomes the quick grab, which is a lot better for you than whatever, the cookies or the processed foods or, and you guys know, I am not the food police. I know we all utilize those from time to time, but if you can swing it to where you're not doing it as much, I think you'll have a lot better success. Very, very easy. What we have in here is two pounds of lean ground beef. I have two packets of taco seasoning. Use any one that you like. I have one large chopped onion two tablespoons of garlic, and that is it. I've got this all browned up, and I'm gonna let it simmer for about 20 minutes. Looks good, it has really good color. 
show you guys. Looks good, right? Let's taste it. Okay, we got to make an adjustment. That is a teeny bit spicy to me. So here is our secret weapon. Some no sugar added ketchup, which I am almost out of. That will take the heat down and add some sweetness overall. And that is my kind of go-to when I need to fix something that's a little bit too spicy. So let's try it now and see if we cooled it off enough. I'm working on some oatmeal banana cookies. So these are actually gonna be chocolate peanut butter chip oatmeal banana cookies. But that's like a full sentence, isn't it? I might have to shorten that description. Anyway, I got this recipe. It is highly, highly inspired by one of a member of WW Living Life on Trek, my Facebook group. Her name is Monica. And she posted this recipe and I changed it up just a little bit. So what we have here, it's so easy, you guys. One cup of old fashioned oats, 60 Lily's chocolate chips. I added in one teaspoon of vanilla. Then also we have a half teaspoon of baking powder to give it a little bit of puff to it. Because you know how sometimes these cookies can go flat. And then also we have two very ripe bananas and I just mix this by hand with a fork and I'm going to bake these for about 20 minutes at 350. Oh, also I forgot to tell you, two tablespoons of chocolate peanut butter, but I'll have the full recipe linked on my recipe blog in the description box. 